So you log on to YouTube with something specific in mind that you want to watch. You're focused, it's literally one search away, and you promise yourself this time, this time will be different. And then, before your conscious mind has even a second to act, BOOM! Blindsided by a video and you're recommended and with just one tiny click, you're back to tumbling down that all too familiar rabbit hole of nonsense. Sound familiar? Well, it should because YouTube has basically engineered their site for that to happen all the time to keep you here for as long as possible. In fact, you might be falling down a Leon Lush rabbit hole as we speak. Good luck, eh, now. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another lubricated bed post. My name is Leon Lush, and I'm so grateful that you joined me here today. That rabbit hole piece I may have dramatized in the intro did just happen to me. I was logging onto YouTube to do something, and I get hit with this immediately. <laughs> Crackalicious, you say? Hmm, intriguing. So naturally, and definitely not because of the thumbnail. Hail Mary, full of grace, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Um, I gave it a click to see what all these views were about. I mean, chiropractic adjustments can't be that interesting, can they? Oh, <clears throat> okay then. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, I think, I think, I've, I think I've seen all I need to see. Let's be honest, 99% of people clicked for the booty. <laughs> what? Roses are red, violets are blue, I clicked for the booty and you did too. Come, come on guys, I don't think these top comments are a good indication of why people are actually here. I didn't come for the booty, I am genuinely interested in osteopath. You see, Martin F is here for the adjust- Said no one. Oh, for the love of God, have some class. Is he giving her CPR? What is going- that's not where you're supposed to do it, I don't think. Anyways, you know how the YouTube recommended works. Once you click one, it's all over. So now I'm constantly getting recommended chiropractic adjustment videos with millions of views and a healthy amount of cheeks in the thumbnail. I'm not talking about the cheeks that do this. I mean the cheeks that do this. So I said enough is enough. I need to get to the bottom. <laughs> Pun intended. Yeah. Oh God. I need to get to the bottom of what's going on in this chiropractic community on YouTube. And there may be some bone crackling along the way. So grab your headphones. And if you don't have headphones, <laughs> oh my God, that's, that's so crazy. What a coincidence. My partners Raycon are sponsoring today's video. And my friend Leon with a winter hat is here to tell us all about it. Leon, take it away. All right, 2020 is going full steam ahead. And you know we're staying partnered with Raycon because their E25's got me feeling nice. At half the price of other premium brands, they look fly as hell, they sound just as good, they charge on the go, and they are discreet. Listen, I've used a ton of earbuds, but these ones just have me beaming. In creating their latest model, the E25s, I think Raycon might have sprinkled on a little bit of witchcraft because the bass response is absolutely delightful compared to what I'm used to in earbuds. That lack of bass was previously my biggest issue with wireless earbuds, but that problem is now solved. You get six hours of playtime, Bluetooth pairing that is a dream, and a noise isolating fit that comes in multiple colors. I mean, I bring these everywhere, man. I work out in them, I travel with them, I make love in them. Now that last one's not true, but I probably would if it wasn't so weird for my wife. The case is sleek and it offers charging on the go so you get over a day's worth of playtime before ever having to plug in. So if you're looking for an affordable pair of true wireless earbuds, look no more. And right now you can get 15% off an already great price if you use my link in the description. That's buyraycon.com slash Leon Lush. You get 15% off your very own pair. I love you. Now throughout its history, chiropractic has been somewhat controversial. They don't have to go to medical school and they're not doctors in the traditional sense of a medical doctor, but they still call themselves doctors because they go to a chiropractic school and get doctorates in their particular line of work. Because of that, they operate under a different set of rules and some chiropractors lean more heavily on more pseudoscientific stuff as the foundation of their practices, which is where sometimes the friction is introduced uh, with mainstream medicine. But I'm not here to debate all that. I think there's a lot of talent talented chiropractors that help tons of patients with musculoskeletal problems of all kinds. But then there's your Dr. Bergman's. Gentlemen. Dr. Bergman is the best doctor in the world. Gentlemen. He knows a cure to cancer. He knows a cure to liver disease. He knows a cure to kidney disease. Gentlemen. He knows a cure to everything. I'm sorry, what? You guys are acting like he's just a chiropractor, but trust me, he is much more than a chiropractor. He is a genius. 
pushing anti-vax propaganda and convincing kids that he can cure terminal illness with a little hip adjustment. If you've been a fan of the channel for a while, you know who the legend Dr. Bergman is. But if you don't, grab some popcorn and click up here because we're not going to be talking about him today. I must admit, I was a bit naive to just how popular chiropractic adjustments were on YouTube. I mean, you scroll through some of these search results, 3, 5, 10 million views, 20, 30, 40, 60 million views on some of these. There's compilations. Then there are a ton of chiropractors sharing their work as well. I mean, it's great for your business. If you can get some hits on the internet to drive traffic to your brick and mortar business, hell yeah. Breeze, exhale with your right big toe. There it is. Oh, good lord. Yeah. <laughs> we have to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Oh. Oh, wow. So that's all well and good, you know, chiropractors building their business through the YouTube channel and people enjoying the sound of cracking bones. But let's touch briefly on the other main reason why this is so popular and constantly being stuffed into your and mine recommended. Uh, and that is because of thumbnails like this, like this, this, and this, uh, and the internet's undefeated record in sexualizing things that aren't inherently sexual. Woo! I felt that one in my lumbar spine. Incredible adjustment. Let's check the comments for some constructive feedback. I'm a simple man. I see a booty. I click. 756. Thank me later. Oh, nice. This is going to be like a dope bone crack or something. Okay, that's, um, yeah, those are, that, yeah, that's see-through. Okay. Is your right leg up as high as you can for that? Right, here's another one. Eight million views on this one. This is bound to be a great adjustment. Oh my, oh my god, she touched her hip. She touched, holy cow. 424, thank me later, boys. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> oh god, I hate being a virgin. Tough when I'm watching this with one hand. Because the other one is holding the Holy Bible. Can I get an amen? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> that one caught me off guard a little bit. <laughs> now, once in a while, you get a trooper like Michelle here who actually timestamps all the actual bone cracks for, you know, the small percentage of people that are here to see that. But other than that, you would be hard-pressed to find a female chiropractic adjustment without just rampant objectification in the comments. And because of that, chiropractors like my man Greg Johnson here, just trying to run a business, have to end up turning the comments off in their most popular videos. Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, and we have Melanie in here with us this afternoon. and. Melanie's boyfriend, or husband is it? Husband. <laughs> husband is a crack addict, and he found this on YouTube. Wait, what? Husband <laughs> is a crack addict. Why is she laughing? You do not want a husband that's addicted to crack. Oh, I get it. <laughs> crack addict, Greggy silly bitch. That's quite the double entendre. There, I'm loosen this up just a little bit for you. There's an L3, an L2. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're, you're gonna be like a new woman. Oh, sorry. Jesus, Craig. Oh, Craig is definitely gonna love you. Oh my God, 20 plus years of pain and suffering, first chiropractic adjustment. Oh my God! <laughs> That's such a great title, by the way. Oh. Craig, I know it's Craig. Cool first, but they'll feel better in a little Craig, bit. be careful. God, you're <laughs> killing her, Greg. <laughs> Oh, God. So this is another one of his most viewed. No surprise, it's an Instagram model. Comments turned off. You know, we really like people to wear their yoga pants in here because I get a much better biomechanical an analysis whenever they have yoga pants on. Biomechanics. Yep, it's all about biomechanics. Wait, was he kidding? I mean, it made sense what he said. He just sounded kind of cheeky, but, uh, you know, there you have it. It helps the chiropractors if you wear yoga pants because they can then see the biomechanics. All of the biomechanics. Uh, but unfortunately, when you post that to the internet, it becomes attack of the virgins in the comments. It's a tough, it's a tough situation. Even when the chiropractor's a female and there's a shirtless dude in the thumbnail, you still can't escape the virgins like Santa Claus here, who apparently watched only for the pink leggings and 548 other virgins agree. But hey, if you're a YouTuber, man, views are views, right? Like, I normally want people to come to my channel to have a laugh, but like, occasionally... I'll flash this peach, because I know that's going to bring in a whole nother kind of viewer. Day off. Just poured another cup of coffee, and now Dr. Brenda. What else do I need? I'm good. <laughs> hey, finally respectful comment, but you be, <laughs> you mean to tell me dudes is just spending their entire day off sipping on a cup of coffee watching chiropractic adjustments on YouTube? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why that just that strikes me as so funny. I'm sorry. Hold on, a female chiropractor and a female client? 
Wait, wait, I, I can hear the virgin brains exploding worldwide. Brenda, you better turn the comments off. Oh, oh whew. thank God. So I've looked at a lot of the YouTube chiropractors and I get a sense that they're just doing their thing. Uh, and when like a video gets popped into recommended for whatever reason and it's attack of the virgins, so they just deal with it by turning off the comments or whatever. Uh, and you know, get a bunch of views as a consequence. So it works out. Then there's the other breed of YouTube chiropractor. We're very aware of online culture and lean into it. You can just go to their page and sort by the most viewed videos and you get a pretty clear picture of what's driving most of the traffic. 90 million views, 53 million, 33 million, god damn! Why does this one have 53 million views, I wonder? Oh, for, for the love of Pete! And what we're gonna do is- Soon as the video start, I see why it has 50 million views. Shake my damn head, lots of lettuce. Now you know. Yeah, yes, we do know. How does he get so many patients that look like this? Oh, you mean like why he seemingly only works on Instagram models? Well, that can't possibly be by design, can it? Because of, you know, 50 million views. This thumbnail here appears to be uh, one Brazzers logo shy of being on the wrong website. So we're gonna work on that muscle in the lower back. Are you gonna strap her down? Not, not yet, not yet. Let's go. So this is a muscle. Yeah, that's where it hurts, right? Yeah, that hurts. Yeah. So breathe through it. You're an Aussie, so we can go a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. Informative stuff, you know, lots to be learned here. My wife just walked in on me watching this. I switched to Pub. Much easier to explain. <laughs> uh, and today we have our Instagram model here. Hi. And how are you today? I'm good. <laughs> so now, as you were just telling me, um, so you're having a little bit of issues on that left yes. SI joint, so that yeah. left low back. She's having a little bit of issues, and then just the- My man's got the chest lettuce flowing out of the pink button down with the vest over top, the quaff, doing chiropractic adjustments poolside with IG models. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your modern day rock star. And you already like moved right when I, <laughs> right when I set you up. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have you flip to the other side. Anyways, we know exactly how this goes by now, so let's uh, check the reviews. Uh, it's all timestamps, it looks like. Just for the bone cracks, uh, I'm sure. And it looks like he brought a camel by the pool at 8.17. Oh, that's weird. I don't know why you'd need a camel for a chiropractic adjustment. At 8.53, she definitely felt that. Well, this should be a relaxing bone crack then. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. There we go. So that, yeah, I know you felt that. So that just, yep, helped clear everything out with that. All right, so we've gotten a little taste of one of the driving forces of views in the chiropractic community. I want to be clear, I'm not, this is no shade towards any of these chiropractors, and I'm not here to pass any sort of moral judgment one way or the other. I'm simply an observer. I'm a businessman at heart, and what YouTube has shown us is that doing chiropractic adjustments on Instagram models and yoga pants is good for business. Can't blame them. It's a triple win, too. I have to imagine these models are getting free chiropractic adjustments. It's blowing up the chiropractor's YouTube page and in turn sending a bunch of traffic back to the IG model's Instagram page where they're probably doing the same exact thing in a different capacity. I mean, who would have thought that the online chiropractic community and all of its hip-popping, bone-cracking glory was being propelled by this underbelly of horny teenagers. But as I said, the internet is undefeated in sexualizing anything and everything and depending on where your moral compass is, that can be a great business opportunity, uh, as we've seen here. So if you want to do a solid for your fellow man, just head down to the comments and timestamp when my peach was on full display just a few minutes ago. The world will appreciate it. Then just drop trow and hip thrust that motherfucking like button with the tip of your Roddy Rich. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah.